So now let's we 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 going we going to squash all that now. So guys, now why are you guys focusing on the flesh? Christ came down through the spirit of the body. The flesh, the skin of our color does mm -hmm. not matter. The kingdom of God, You're all right. of it is within us. You're right. The, the the color of our skin doesn't matter, right? Also, but nationality does. Okay. Yeah, Joe, nationality. My family was rounded up in Amsterdam. My family was kicked out in 1492 uh -huh. in the Spanish Inquisition based on the faith the fact that they were kicked out in Israel by Rome. Uh huh. So why are you only excluding certain people to be part of that kingdom? It's no longer, as Jesus said, it's no longer about Israelite or Greek. It's no longer about you sure you sure Greek. Jesus said that. Jesus did say that. Okay, well now we're about to get in the Bible where Jesus says something different. I'm gonna show you. Oh no 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 no! no. He made a statement. He made a statement. Continued to preach. He made a statement. About that. Oh no no no! Christ did not say that. The he did church. not say that. Let's read the it. Um, let's get proof. God. Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. So now what we're getting ready to do. I'm about to show y'all one thing. Now we're getting ready to see if people really believe in the Bible or they don't. He said that Christ came and said all nations can be saved. But I'm about to read to you in the Bible that Christ did not say that. So now you're about to not believe in the Bible or believe in the Bible. We're about to pick one today. Read that. But he answered and said, uh -huh. I am not sent. Christ said what? I am not sent. I am not sent, read. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm, man, that was Christ's words. He said, I am not sent. But unto the sheep, lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, 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 no. When the lady who was suffering from bleeding, when he went this is that and same she story. was healed, what did he say? Oh, let's, he said I, I that love Israel that. Because Israel could not believe I, in the Messiah, I like the that. words of God. That okay, they let's keep reading. And then they come hey, this make my teeth white. Let's keep reading. Come on. Verse 25. Uh -huh. Then came she and worshipped him, uh -huh. saying. Because was she of another nation, yes or no? Was she an Israelite? No. No, okay. So we got that. She came to Christ. She asked for a miracle. And she was of another nation, correct? Let's keep reading. Lord, help me. Uh -huh. But he answered and said. Now, Christ said, she said, Lord, help me. Christ answered and said, come on. It is not meat. It is not meat. M-E-E-T, meaning it is not good or not proper or agree with. Come on. To take the children's bread. To take the children's bread and do what? It's a cast it to dog. Oh, man. What did he call this woman of another nation? Now, do you still believe in this Bible? Yeah. You still believe? Okay. So did he call this other woman a dog? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. So a, anybody that is outside of the nation of Israel, God considers them what? No, that's no. manipulating the Bible. No, it is not. We just yes, read it, it did we not? Did we what? not just read it? Come Lord, on, go Lord. back. Go Lord. back. Go back. What were they but he answered and said, it is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Now let's see what this woman said. And she said, truth, Lord. Oh, she said, truth, Lord. What does she agree with being called? A dog. Yeah. She agreed with it. What were whores called in the Middle East? What were it wasn't just, let's get revelations. Revelation, since you want to be technical, since we are all technicalities right now, let's get revelation and let me get a uh, verse, chapter 19, where it said, without our dogs. Before you move, what happened in that story y'all were reading? She, she, he, no, he, he read it. He what granted he? it because she admitted she was a dog. She said, truth, Lord. Israel in the very but did she, but did she get the kingdom? So, so here's the question. She, if, based 22 and 15. 22 and 15. Read that. Condemned Revelation you. chapter 22, verse 15. But without our dogs. Start in verse uh, 14. 14. 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So it says, blessed are they that do his commandments. Were all nations giving God's commandments? Yes or no? No, 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 no. It said, blessed are they that do his commandments. Were all nations giving God commandments? Yes or no? Uh, initially, no. No, they were never. Never. Hold that. You got what I'll read that. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. Come on. He showeth his word unto Jacob. The Bible says, he showeth his word unto Jacob. Come on. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. And his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Come on. He has not dealt so with any nation. He has what? He has not dealt so with any nation. Read that one more time so we can let that sink in. He has not 
dealt so with any nation. The Bible says he ain't dealt so with any nation. Now, go back to Revelation. Read. Revelation 22, 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. You can only keep God's commandments unless you're an Israelite. Come on. Or he was only given, the commandments were only given to the Israelites. Read. That they may have right. To the tree of life. So that the Israelites can have right to a tree of life. Come on. And may enter in through the gates into the city. Right. For without our dogs. For without our what? Our dogs. Our what? Our dogs. So dogs can't enter into the kingdom of heaven. And Christ just said that this woman was a dog. Yes or no? Yes. 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 So yes. can she get the kingdom of heaven? Nah, come on. We read it out the Bible. This is biblical facts. Nobody can refute what we're saying because it's out of the Bible. You're going to choose to believe in the Bible or not. That's what's going to happen today. Huh? What happened at the end of the nasty story? Oh, let's keep, let's go back. I want to understand that when he grants her, uh -huh. right, is he giving her food from the children's table? Like grants Crumbs. 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 Right. So. That's what the scripture said. So, Jesus said it's not good to give food to dogs right. or puppies. Actually, it technically works puppies. Right. And then. It said dog, though. You can't be a puppy unless you're young. Dogs are full grown. So why is it? Why is the technical term puppy? If that's the case, the technical term of a goat is a kid. No, because the well, by your logic, yes. No, because bring it up, right? Which is little puppy. Like that's that's the actual word in the actual text. Uh huh. It's puppy. You can look it up because is it, 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 it not of the dog family? Yeah, name. <laughs> okay, so it's a dog. Let's go with it. We speak English. Y'all still tried to leave the topic because right now y'all are reading in English, right? Uh huh. And y'all are claiming that that text, part of it was originally written in Latin. And if you all cannot just have a foundational knowledge of the original language of that text that y'all saying is having is uh, providing this prop, uh, prop. Give me where they hung up Christ, and they and they read, wrote his name on a. Uh, on the sign. 1919. 1919. When they wrote his name when he was hanging on the cross. Huh? It doesn't matter. You can you can say you can say Yehoshua, you can say Yahawashai, you can say any of that. But that doesn't matter. I, you mean you mean Bishop Nathaniel? Yeah, his name's not Nate. Alright, come on. Sign was posted. And I followed you, And so it was written. And so read that. The book of John, chapter 19, verse 19. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title then read many of the Jews. For the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city. And it was written in the Hebrew and Greek. In Latin, Hold up. Hebrew, Greek, and Latin, because these were the these were the languages that's that they the language spoke language. at that time. That's, that's biblical. That's, that's biblical what facts. What does it say? What does it say? It was written in Aramaic. What does it say? It was written in Aramaic. The point is, we're going back and forth for all of that. Let's go back to the main topic. What the, uh, the guy that was standing here brought out. All nations cannot be saved. Oh, 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 oh. No, but that's that's the main thing. You got to get yourself right so you can get the kingdom of heaven. Do we do homework. This is our life. This is what we do. That's we do this 24 right. 7. Give me that uh, 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 tip, huh? Uh, study to read. So, study to show thyself approved. Read this. Read this from. I'm going to show you something. This is our job. This is what we do on a daily basis. Read that. That's Second right. Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Uh -huh. yeah. Study to show thyself approved. The Bible says study to show thyself approved. Come on. Unto God, uh -huh. a workman that it needed not to be ashamed. We ain't ashamed of nothing. We come out here and we, we prophesy what this Bible says because we study to show ourselves approved. Come on. Yeah. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Word what? Rightly. Dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, because you don't believe that, that you don't believe none of that, so you don't believe that Christ was black. You don't believe that, do you? You don't believe that God was black. Okay, let's get it. 
He, he believes you know, he, he believes Christ was black, but you don't believe God was black. So now, re remember when Peter asked, he said, he said, what does the Father look like? He said, have you been so long with me that you have not seen? Right? Come on. Yeah, get that real quick. John chapter 14, verse 9. Uh -huh. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not seen me, Philip? Know me, Philip. Philip, right? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Christ said, If you seen me, you seen the Father. Christ was black. So what did the Father have to be, right? Let's get that in Daniel 9. I mean, Daniel, uh, yeah, Daniel 7. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. Mm -hmm. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. Look, brother, he said the Ancient of Days did sit. We're talking about the Most High God right now. The Ancient of Days did sit. If you're a spirit, can you sit on that bench? That means you got to have a body, right? So it said the Ancient of Days did sit. Now we're going to get technical, right? Because this Bible is all, all technicalities, right? We're going to make sure everything is right. We're going to break down every single word. Come on. Whose garment? Whose what? Whose garment? In order to put on an article of clothes, what do you have to have? You got to have a body. In order to put on a garment or an article of clothing, you have to have a body. Read. Right. Whose garment was white as snow uh -huh. in the hair of his head? Oh, the what? The hair of his head. Read that one more time. In the hair of his head. They're describing God's hair. That's right. The hair on his head, read. Like the pure wool. Like the what? Like the pure wool. Like the what? Pure wool. Like the what? Pure wool. Pure wool. Pure, hold on, pure wool. What nation of people on this earth today, you can look at a comparison right now, have natural woolly hair. No, look at the comparison that you have right now, brother. Oh. Who have do you do he have woolly more. hair? I would have more than them. Yeah. They don't have none. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Wool? Yeah. They don't have any wool. Well, this is what I'm saying. Read that again. Like the pure wool. So guess what? God was a black man. Christ was a black man. King David was a black man. Solomon was a black man. The Jews were black. That's right. Huh? And then God is like a human, like a man. Yes. Give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon 13, I believe it is. Read that. I'm going to show you. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 3. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods, let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Right, the for, Lord of them, which is God. For the first author of beauty hath created them. He said the first author of beauty hath created them. Now let me get Genesis. Uh, chapter 1 and verse 26, I believe it is. Metaphor or analogy in the Bible at all? Read that. Read that now. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. He said for the first author of beauty created us. Read. And God said, let us make men in our image. Uh, in what? In our image. So guess what? We were made in God's image. That's right. We look like the Father. The Father looks like us because we're his people. You have to understand that. Until you understand that, none of this Bible is going to make sense. Give me Psalms 111 verse 10. Are you, Until you are understand you that, you're not going to understand this are Bible. You, are you holy corporal? Are you holy material? What are you talking about? It's the totality mm -hmm. of what makes you human. Your, this flesh, this 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 thing right here. Is this is this the most important aspect of your being? No. The fleshly no. aspect. No. Romans eight six. Right. I, this, 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 it's not. So again, this is interpretation. Uh, right? No. You are you are assuming that to have been made in the image of God focuses primarily on this material. Yeah. Aspect. You know. You want to know why? You want to know why I say that? Yes. Because what did our oppressors do when they conquered us? Because remember, you had the Dark Ages. The Dark Ages were ruled by dark-skinned people like us. Then you had the Renaissance. Then you had the Renaissance, and what did they do to the images? Whitewash. Right. Whitewash. Right. Let me get... Um, God creating us in the image You want to know why? Because give me Hebrews chapter... I mean, uh, Hosea. It's Chapter 3, I'm going to show you why, because God, God said there's a reason. Is God corruptible? Read that. Read this for me. Is God corruptible? God, uh, 3 and 14. Is the image of God corruptible? Uh, many days without an image. Is God corruptible? It's either 3 and 14 or 3 and 4. It's Hosea. Is the image of God corruptible? Hosea chapter 3 verse 4. Uh -huh. For the children of Israel right. shall obey many days without uh -huh. a king right. and without a prince right. and without a sacrifice. 
And without an image. And without a what? And without an image. It said the children of Israel would abide many days without an image. When we came off of the, when the Renaissance happened, they gave us this image. So color does matter. So when we read the Bible and it gives us a don't up, because you're asking about this flesh. So hold, yes, I say it does matter. Because why would they change the image if you really look like this according to the Bible? Why? When you read the Bible, it, descri it describes Christ more looking like this than it does that. Why would you change the image if this don't matter? It mattered to Bring power. Bring it out. It, ma it, it mattered, mattered to what? It mattered to power. Matter to power. Because now I got a question. When we, when we, when a black, when a white cop kills a black person, what do we do? Protest. We riot. We protest. Black Lives Matter. What do people? What do we do if if you kill me? What do our people do? We go back about our normal living. Oh shit! That, that, right. that, that nigga dead. What is, what Too bad. He must have did something. What? Right. You know why? Because we think they are God. That's right. We see this image and we think they are God. That's why they changed that image. Because if we had this image, we would see we would see the Christ in you. I wouldn't be so not. I'm generalizing now. I would not be so inclined to kill my brother, beat up my brother, to steal from him. Those are the things I'm talking about. So the color does matter. Right, color matters. But just because the oppressor decided to manipulate images and focus on the material body to 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 preach another Jesus to cave mm -hmm. to manipulate and to brainwash does not mean that what preach the oppressor Jesus. chose to focus yeah. on is what was the most important thing to God in creation. Christ said himself. I'm gonna show you because. Right, I'm gonna show you and what so, you said. Christ is about to explain. Read that. Second Corinthians well, chapter I mean, eleven, Paul, verse four. Paul is about to say it through the Spirit of Christ. Come on. For he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. That preacheth the what? Another Jesus. Preacheth the what? Another Jesus. Uh huh. Whom we have not preached. Whom we have not preached. Read. Or if you receive another spirit. Or if you receive another spirit, because with this Jesus comes, homosexuality is accepted. You have to you have to celebrate Christmas, Mother's Day, Easter, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Come on. You're, you're jumping on or if you receive uh -huh. another spirit, uh -huh. which you have not received, or another gospel, mm -hmm. which you have not accepted. Because with that image comes a completely different gospel than when that image came. Are, Read. Totally ye might well. Bear with him. Meaning, me, you might well bear with him means leave him alone. But you keep turning, right? You keep How? Turning. You turn to focus on the flesh. You turn to focus. You on asked the question. You turn to focus. You asked a question. And, and my question was about Genesis. My question was about why does one? Why do you all believe that in Genesis, when they talk about created in our image, that God said, you know what? The image. The likeness of God that's the most important is my physical anthropomorphic being. You want to know why? I, and I answered your question because we just read it in 2 Corinthians. But if you don't no, believe that, hold on, if I, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I, I'm about to answer your question. You want the answer or not? Yeah or nay? Do you want the answer? Yeah or nay? Are you going to answer? Yes. Okay. So now the reason why we know that and why we focus on that, because if, if, if God or if Christ decided to write about himself or have himself written about why would he put his color in there? If it wasn't that important, why would he write in Daniel? Why would he write in Revelations about his color? How you're, how, how you're jumping? I never now said, I'm jumping. I just I, answered your question. I never said color. I never said body. I never said physicality yep. didn't matter. I, you see, right? I never said it didn't matter. You asked us why we yep. say what we said in Genesis. I just told you. I asked. And, and number one, you responded with a, with a rhetorical question. Number two, I said, why do you think that in Genesis, when they emphasize in our image, why are you interpreting that as primarily only with this and not in terms of notions of free will, not in terms of creativity, not in terms of the spirit of the living and loving God. The because there is no free will. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna show you. All right, so all right. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna no. no but you you asked me a question. But you're jumping. You see, look, you he don't want to hear the answer, people. He he asked me why do we say this? I'm trying to give him an answer out of the Bible, and now he says I'm jumping. Now he says I'm jumping. Read that, bro. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Man's goings. Are of the Lord. How can a man then understand 
his own way. So guess what? You don't have no free will. Okay. Right. So that's out the question. What other answer? What other question you got? Why are you stressing in Genesis that the image is our corporal body and not our spiritual likeness? Because your you got to understand we can't accept this. This is the reason. I'm not, I'm not asking you to accept that. Okay. I'm not asking you to accept any of those images. Okay. But that's part of it. In the image of God, therefore, it has no, to do seven. with skin no, complexion seven. and bodies and limbs and all that stuff. I'm going to give you the other aspect now. I'm going to give you the other aspect. So now we got the physical aspect. Now we're going to get the spiritual aspect, which is God's laws. Read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Remember the Sabbath day. Remember the what? Sabbath day. To keep it holy. Now, this is the other image that we were made in, right? He said, keep the Sabbath day. Do you keep the Sabbath day? I don't. So why? So what's the point? In going back and forth. If you don't even want, if you don't even keep this, why do you ask then? You see what I mean? No. Because you're saying this to make it seem like we don't have an answer. And then when we give you the other answer, no, no, no. you say, well, I don't do it. So what's the point? So are you going to keep the Sabbath? If you believe in this Bible, you going to keep the Sabbath? No, I don't keep the Sabbath. Are you going to do it if the Bible says so? I don't believe that the Bible prescribes for Christians today to have a perpetual to covenant. Sabbath. Perpetual. What does perpetual mean? Exodus 31. Forever. Forever. Perpetual means forever. I'm about to read this to you and hold on. I'm about to no, 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 no. No, no, we're going to, we're not going to listen to nothing else until we read this. You made a statement. Now I am about to deal with the statement you just made. Read that. Exodus chapter 31, verse 16. The Sabbath. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generation. Through what? Throughout their generation. Come on. For a perpetual covenant. For a what? Perpetual covenant. Does a perpetual covenant stop? I'm not an Israelite. Oh, I'm a that's Gentile. It. He I'm, believes he's a Gentile. a Gentile. He believes this brother right we, here doesn't have the love for himself that he believes he's a Gentile. We, God we, separated we, nations upon this earth, did he not? He did. He and, separated and that, nations. And, that, and that's where, where it came back to. Now, now give me Revelation chapter 21. Give me the gates. I'm going to show you something. I'm about to show you something real quick. So you believe you're a Gentile, right? I, I'm telling you, no, you're not a Gentile. You're an Israelite. You're greater than that. God created us to be the greatest people upon the face of this earth. That's right! You have to realize that, brother. I'm trying to tell you to realize that, but if you want to make yourself base with everybody else, then you're going to die alone with them. You're going to die when Christ comes back. Read this. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. Because I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you where the Gentiles have place. Read that. And had a wall. Great and high. This is New Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven. Come on. And had 12 gates. It had how many gates? 12 gates. So guess what? New Jerusalem has 12 gates. The, the only way you get into these gates is if you're from these names. Read that. And at the gates, 12 angels. What are there? 12 angels. Guess what? There's angels at every single one of these gates. So you not get these angels ain't there for show. Angels, excuse me. These angels ain't there for show. They not standing there to look good. They are there for a reason to keep unwanted people out. Read. And names written thereon, uh -huh. which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Uh, the Gentiles, they not on these gates. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Come on. On these, on the east three gates, uh -huh. on the north three gates, right. on the south three gates, right. and on the west three gates. So guess what? These gates have the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. If you're not from one of those tribes, you're not getting in. So if you want to be a Gentile, guess what? You're not getting in the kingdom, brother. If you want to make yourself base with all these other nations, you're not getting into the kingdom. So believe you're a Gentile all you want, but I'm telling you that there's no promises for you in the kingdom. But believe that you're an Israelite. Believe that you keep God's laws. Right. Believe that our people have to come up out of this sleep and you'll get the kingdom. Right. And this, is, and this is where we go right back to where we started. With the question about in what ways does one go about interpreting and viewing themselves as Israel? We read it in Deuteronomy 28. And, you don't want to believe and, it. And yeah. you say... <laughs> Romans 8 verse 16. I read, he don't want to believe that. He don't want to believe none of this. He said he believed the Bible, but he don't believe nothing the Bible says. Yeah, read that. The experience of black folk to try to say that black folk are the only folk. To say that God's grace and God's love 
only engages, is only extended to black folks. And then you mess up history. You like there's Roman. some stuff I can see where you're misreading, me, uh, but other places, Romans. like when you're looking I mean, at Galatians, uh, and you're trying to tell me that Galatians uh, and the Galatians Israelite. were Israelites, that's blatantly false. When you say things like part of the original you know, Bible was written in you don't Latin, know your history. That's Read this for me. False. I got a question. And so if anyone wants Romans to chapter it, nine verse thirteen, uh -huh. as it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob is the forefather of these Israelites right here, the 12 tribes. God, this is New Testament. He you. said, Jacob, that's me. That's me. Jacob have I loved. I'm from the tribe of Judah. Yes. That's where my tribe comes from, the same tribe Christ came out of. Read. Read. Jacob have I loved, uh -huh. but Esau have I hated. So Christ said, Esau have I, I mean, Paul said, Esau have I hated. Who's Esau? If, if there's, a, and there's a nation, there's a nation that God hates. He said, Esau, have I hated? Okay. Here, you guys sponsor our crown royal? He had the nation, see, they can mock all they want. They mock Christ with purple when they put him on the cross. That's our very reason for wearing this color. Malachi, we know it. But God said he has a nation of people that he hates. Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. He knows it. Why don't you know it? Bring it out. But that's not the question. It the is question the question. Is how do you identify people of African descent here? African came and, up later. And, and, and that's and that's and that's, and that's, and that's, that's all I'm talking about. Going with Hold on, but you, you say African. African is a name that came up later on after it was conquered Nubian. by uh, uh Leo Scipio, Scipio Africanus. Nubian. Axumite. Uh, Give me Exodus Veronic. chapter eleven verse seven. Um Kushite. Nilotic. Kush. Ham. Shem. Uh, now you want to use the names of the Bible. No. Read that. Exodus 11 verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. There go that word dog again used for other nations. Come on. Against men or beasts mm -hmm. that they that ye may know how that the Lord put a difference again between the Egyptians and Israel. God put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites. There's always been a difference. Always. But the question still comes right back around to how you all articulate how folks like you and me, that most of us got here through the transatlantic slave trade, uh -huh. right? The Bible spoke, Deuteronomy 28. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I, I know how you read it, right? I know and, what the Bible says. The Bible does not say Middle Passage, right? The Bible because we didn't get here on the Middle Passages, no, no, did we? I, I know, I know, I know. So, and, and, so? And that's, and that's all I'm saying. It's so how did we get here? What? How did we get here? How did we get to America? How do you find middle passage? How did Bible? we get to America? Literally, I mean, our ancestors got here on the bottom of the slave ship. Okay. So now let's get Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Then we're just going to wrap it up. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. You got a water. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships because we went on cargo slave ships read by the way wherever i spake unto thee right. thou shalt see it no more again our homeland have we ever been back to our homeland some people have no people no as a nation of people we've never been back read and there ye shall be sold unto your enemy we shall be what sold unto your enemy come on for bondmen and bond women. We were sold for slave men and slave women. Come on. And no man shall buy you. Meaning redeem us. No man was able to redeem us. We had many of people that tried. Christ is the only one that can. And that's an announcement. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we men repented at heart The scriptures is proof 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.